Good morning. Today we are testing the pH of water and we're going to use my pH script. Remember this is, you can order this on Amazon and the pH strips are in there. Okay, so we're going to, the reason why we're doing this today is because I'm getting all these emails from people saying, I think your pH strips do not work because my water is very acidic. So I thought, wow, I need to check it out and see what kind of water I'm drinking. I'm controlling all these other factors, but when it comes to water, I wasn't even thinking about it. So today, we're gonna go ahead and get some tap water right out of the faucet. There we go, and we're gonna put that here. And then we're gonna take some reverse osmosis. All right, so that comes from here. And actually there's filters at the bottom of the sink that need to be changed. There's like four of them. And we're going to talk about that as well. And then we're going to do filtered water from the refrigerator. Okay, so shall we go ahead and see what our results are going to be? Remember, you're going to take your pH strip from the uh, little box. I've already taken them out because, you know, I don't want to mess around with it. And let me just bring this out. So we're going to do it for 15 seconds. Okay, so this is the tap water. Boom, we'll put that here. And this is the reverse osmosis. Boom, we'll put that there. Woo! And this is the filtered water. Boom, let's put that there. All right, 15 seconds on the clock. All right, do you see the colors changing? Okay, we're done with that. Now, let me see. We need to, let me put my glasses on. Here we go. Okay, so the tap water is clocking in. Where do you say, Mike? Like probably... 7.5. What? You know what? I'm so sorry. It's upside down. You guys, I have it upside down. No wonder. Ooh, I'm wasting time by waiting and waiting. Okay, so here we go. So the tap water is clocking in at about 7.5. The reverse osmosis water is clocking in at, what What would you say, Mike? 5.5. 5, .5. 5 point, yeah, 5.5. So here it is, 5.5, .5, right up there. And then the filtered water is clocking in, whoa, Whoa, look at the filtered water. 7.5. 7.5. So, what does that mean? This, using my husband's glasses, <laughs> I wanted to make sure I gave you the right values. Okay, so what that means is that the filtered water was the most alkaline. Okay, the reverse osmosis water was the more acidic, and the tap water was uh, right in the center there. But... I realized why this reverse osmosis was uh, acidic. I've been, I drink almost two gallons of water a day. I'm really bummed. I've been infusing my body with acidity. Might as well be having chocolate and coffee. I mean, you know, um, I have that too. <laughs> okay, this is what I realized. These filters down here, they have to be changed. And see, look at, this one is behind time. So what we have to do is we need to stay on top of the filters. There's also a filter in the kitchen um, refrigerator water system and that um, we've recently changed. So, all right. So the point here is I want you guys to be aware that the things that you're drinking and eating could be affecting your body and you might be doing everything right and yet your acidity is low, which means, uh, you know, more negative, like, you know, 6.5 and lower. Okay, so, okay, signing off today, and I'll see you tomorrow.